My family and I recently returned from a trip from Germany. You can see I have a shirt from Hanover on right now. And while we were in Germany, I was actually able to take some time out of my vacation to investigate the cell phone plans offered in Germany. I was curious to see how the plans offered in Germany compared with plans offered in the US. So I found there are about seven major carriers. I knew about six of them while I was there and a YouTube commenter pointed to the seventh. So the big seven I know about now are Vodafone, O2, T-Mobile, Leica Mobile, Your Phone, E+, and as pointed out by a YouTube commenter, Tele2. So those are the big seven I'm aware of. While I was in Germany, I was able to investigate most of these. What I would do is go into a storefront in a plaza, ask the sales representative what kind of plans are offered, and then present my findings to the camera. So I wasn't able to do this with all of them because they all didn't have storefronts where I was traveling with my family in Germany. But without further ado, here's the footage from Germany and what I was able to find out. And I will be interjecting with some of my new findings now that I'm at home and I've been able to research the plans online. I'm in Germany with my friend David and we're looking at cell service. The two major carriers I'm told are Vodafone, O2, um, T-Mobile, T -Mobile. and uh, E+. Plus. And E+. Plus. So we found two of them right here. We have O2 and Vodafone right next to each other, so let's go check them out. Okay, so David and I just got out of the O2 store. They have exactly one plan. Okay, pause. O2 actually offers a total of 14 plans, seven on contract and seven off contract. I don't know why the sales rep left those out. Anyway, the plan I was told about appears to be the Loop Smart XL plan, which is right here. Now back to the video. It is 20 euros per month for unlimited talk and unlimited text with other people on O2, and then you have 200 units for either calls or texts for other carriers, and you get 1.5 gigs of high-speed internet access. Again, 20 euros a month, and when you sign up, you have to pay $10 for the SIM card. So ignoring the fact the sales rep at O2 left out 13 of the other plans they have available, it looks like O2's prepaid plans are actually quite good. They have a free plan, which is nice, and then 10 euros per month gets you 750 megabytes of data. As I explained in the video, you get unlimited talk and text with other O2 users, and then you get 200 units for either talk or text to users on other networks. For this video, I'm going to focus on the data included with these plans because pretty much everyone uses WhatsApp in Europe and that effectively eliminates any restrictions placed on talk and text. On O2, you get 750 megabytes of data for 10 euros, one gig for 15 euros, one and a half gigs for 20 euros, two gigs for 40 euros, and five gigs for 50 euros. I'd say the best plans here are the LoopSmart L and the LoopSmart XL plans. For comparison, one gig of data will run you about 30 US dollars from Metro PCS here in the US. O2 also offers some on-contract plans, but these plans look less compelling because after 13 months, the monthly price goes up, and I think that's kind of a cheap move. So in my opinion, O2 offers excellent prepaid plans, but poor on-contract plans. My friend David, who lives in Germany, has a plan on an MVNO of O2, so here's him explaining his current plan. For comparison, David has his own plan, and he's going to tell you the details of that. All right. It's... Uh... 8 euros a month and uh, I have uh, 800 megabytes of data and uh, 300 units for texting and uh, calling Yeah. and for people on the same carrier it's uh, free, free, so unlimited. And what carrier do you use? Uh, it's uh, Aldi Talk. Aldi Talk from the uh, store, right? Yes, and I think it's, it uses the same network as O2. I just got out of Vodafone. They offer two on-contract plans and then two off-contract prepaid plans. For signing up for a contract, for 30 euros a month, you get unlimited talk and text with three gigs of high-speed data. And another on-contract plan is 40 euros a month, and you get unlimited talk and text with six gigs of high-speed data per month. So those are the on-contract plans, very excellent compared to the US plans. And for prepaid, um, you pay, I think, 10 euros for one plan and 25 euros for another plan. You get free messaging and communication with other Vodafone users, and then you have to pay, you have 200 for non-Vodafone users for the 10 euro plan and unlimited for the 25 euro plan. So those are the plans from Vodafone, very competitive, very affordable, 
and I think better than the US. So Germany, doing well in the cell service. So the guy from Vodafone did a much better job than the guy from O2. There are actually a total of three on-contract plans here. One and a half gigs, three gigs, and eight gigs. Okay, wait, no. After exploring the website a little more and using the iPhone 6S as an example, it looks like there are a total of eight on-contract plans. Three smart plans, four red plans, and one black plan. The pricing of these plans is very similar to how Verizon Wireless works here in the US. You pay a certain amount per month for the plan, and then you pay 20 euros to get access to that plan from your smartphone. And then you factor in some deals that come out of nowhere, and you get your price. So looking at the website, 1.5 gigs of data comes out to be 57 euros 49 cents per month, 3 gigs is also 57 euros 49 cents per month, 8 gigs is 67 euros 49 cents per month, and 20 gigs is 87 euros 49 cents per month. For comparison, 2 gigs on the Verizon network is 50 US dollars per month, 8 gigs is 90 US dollars per month, and 24 gigs is 130 US dollars per month. Looking at the prepaid plans, and it's exactly what was on display in the store. 10 euros gets you 750 megabytes of data, and 22 euros 50 cents gets you 1 gig of data per month. I'd say the best plan from Vodafone is the all net flat plan with 1 gig of data for 22 euros 50 cents per month. Okay, I just talked to the T-Mobile representative and there are exactly two T-Mobile plans in Europe. One is 10 euros a month, it is a prepaid plan. For 10 euros you get 500 megabytes of data and calling is 9 cents per minute and texting is 9 cents per text. So that's the prepaid option from T-Mobile in Germany. Then they have a contract plan where it is $45 per month and you get um, a flat, so they say flat messaging, I'm assuming, so you get unlimited talking text and then one gigabyte of data for 45 euros a month. Um, and when you sign up, you have to get a new T-Mobile phone, even if you already have one. The representative here in Germany said you have to get a new T-Mobile phone when you sign up and I think you have to pay for that um, when you first sign up initially. So actually the US T-Mobile plans are a lot better, way more diverse than the ones in Germany. Kind of interesting to know that. Like, whoa, in the US I can get 30 US dollars, 100 minutes, unlimited texts, and five gigs of LTE data. Like, that is a steal compared to the plans T-Mobile is offering in Germany. So I don't know what is up with them. It sounded like Vodafone and O2 had way better plans than T-Mobile. So kind of interesting, something to consider if you're traveling to Germany. I would recommend either Vodafone or O2 based on my chat with the T-Mobile representative. Very strange they only offer two plans here in Germany. Okay, so it looks like the T-Mobile representative may have left some stuff out as well. Looking online, T-Mobile actually offers four, I'm gonna call them normal plans, three premium plans and four prepaid plans. Running through what I believe are contract plans, you get one gig for 31 euros 45 cents per month, 3 gigs for 40 euros 45 cents per month, 6 gigs for 49 euros 46 cents per month, and 10 gigs for 71 euros 95 cents per month. And then the premium plans also offer 6 gigs and 10 gigs of data, but at more expensive price points, so I'm going to skip those, and 30 gigs of data for 149 euros 95 cents per month. Quickly comparing these to the plans in the US, you can get 2 gigs of data for 50 US dollars per month, 6 gigs of data for 65 US dollars per month, 10 gigs of data for 80 US dollars per month and unlimited data for 95 US dollars per month. So definitely awesome that T-Mobile offers an unlimited plan here in the US. In terms of prepaid plans, you get 100 megabytes of data for 2 euros per month, 500 megabytes for 7 euros per month, and 1 gig for 14 euros per month. I think the best plan here is the prepaid plan offering 1 gig of data for 14 euros per month. I'm going to go into your phone and see what kind of plans they offer. Okay, it was super easy. I walked in. I literally just took a picture of all of the cell phone plans your phone offers. And, and I'm going to save you from that horrendous audio quality. The picture does in fact cover all of the plans by your phone and is consistent with the plans offered online. 7 euros 99 cents gets you 2 gigs of data. 13 euros 99 cents gets you 4 gigs of data. 17 euros 99 cents gets you 5 gigs of data and 22 euros 99 cents gets you 6 gigs of data per month. You can see these appear to be on contract plans and for many of them their price increases after 12 months of usage 
like we saw with O2. Again, I think this is a sneaky move, but even with the price increases, the plans still remain relatively affordable. You can see after the price increase, you can still get 4 gigs of data for about 20 euros per month, which is just insane. A similar plan would cost you about 45 US dollars per month here in the US from a carrier like Straight Talk. Okay, I found another cell service called Leica Mobile here in Germany. Um, 5 gigs for 20 euros, 1 gig for 10 euros, 2 gigs for 13 euros, 3 gig. Wait a minute, that's ridiculous. 3 gigs for 15 euros, that's insane. And 10 gigs for 40 euros. So this is Leica Mobile. I don't know if it's any good, but I picked up the brochure from the shop and that's where I'm at right now. Um, I mean, there are some limits. Uh, they're, they offer units of limitations, but if you have data and you use WhatsApp, it's not a deal. It's not a big deal at all. So, so interesting enough, if you look closely at the Leica Mobile brochure, it says they offer service in the United States. Seeing as incredibly affordable their plans are, I might just try and sign up for one of them and see if I can get it to work here in the US. I mean, 15 euros for 3 gigs of data? That seems like a total steal to me, and if I can get it to work here in the US, I'm calling that a win. So that concludes this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to investigate all of the providers available in Germany, but I will leave links to all of the carriers I mentioned in this video, as well as some of the ones I didn't mention in this video description, so check that out if you're interested. My biggest takeaway from this whole investigation is that Germany offers some incredibly affordable prepaid plans. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this video interesting, and I'll see you next time.